قل اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد اشهد ان لا اله الا الله الا الله الا الله واشهد واشهد ان محمد ان محمد رسول الله رسول معنى ذلك تشهد ان الله هو المعبود الحق هذا معناه الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah In a previous video, I promised to make a plan on how to live our purpose in life And inshallah, I'll be making this plan, I'll be breaking it up into four parts In four different videos The first one will be about the journey of life Our journey to the hereafter and how to maximize the benefits of this journey And second video will be uh, about how to motivate ourselves in times of need and boredom. Third video will be about a reminder of how of how short our time in this life is. And fourth video will be a warning in case failure is to occur. Now, our life here is in reality a journey to the hereafter. And our time here is fixed. We don't know exactly when our time is up, but for sure death will arrive. So how, to, how do we maximize our benefit from this life? Well, first thing, we have to make every second count. And how is that possible? By having the correct intentions. It was narrated that the Prophet ﷺ has said, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلِّ مْرِئِ مَا نَوَى Actions are but by intentions. So the first part basically means that uh, Good deeds are not actually deeds unless the correct intention was there. And the second part, states that and every man will get but what he intended. Now this is the second part that we'll be using here. So in our everyday lives, our actions, our normal actions, we can make them acts of worship. For example, we all need to eat and drink in order to survive. So having the correct intention there is we eat and drink in order to, pro to be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and having the energy to do so. And when raising kids, when raising our children, trying to give them the best of manners, the best of education, and looking after their health. Now the correct intention here is to raise a generation of Muslims capable of spreading the Islam. We want that generation well-mannered, well-educated, and well-prepared for their mission so that they can give the same so they can do the same thing with their children and so on until Allah Azza wa Jal resurrects all of us now another intention or another action that we do is when providing for our families we all are obligated to provide for our families being the father or being fathers the responsibility is on us to provide for our wives and our children to provide food, shelter, whatever they need in order to have a normal life. So while doing so, the correct intention is we have to understand that we are commanded by Allah and it is an obligation, it is an Islamic obligation on us to do so. Not just, just we have to do it because we have to do it. No, that's not right. We do it because Allah has commanded us and it is an Islamic obligation. This way, you, you will benefit, you will get the ajr from every single action and all this work that is put into providing for your family. Now, that's as, now that is concerning trying to make every second count. And remember that Allah Azza wa Jal has said, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Say, indeed, my prayers and my, and my sacrifices and my life and death are, are all for Allah. لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ All for Allah, Lord of the worlds. So make your life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have the intention for, to do so. So that's uh, regarding living every second, making every second count. Now, another thing to put in mind is, when doing our acts of worship, try to concentrate on each act of worship, trying to tackle these acts of worship one by one, these deeds one by one, trying to perfect each of them. The Prophet, that was narrated that the Prophet ﷺ has said, إِذَا عَمِلَ أَحَدُكُمْ عَمَلًا فَلْيُتْقِنْ if, if any of you has engaged in an act of worship, he or she should perfect that, making it worthy of Allah. Why is that? Well, 
Allah Azza wa Jal is the King of Kings. He deserves the best of us. He deserves what is best. He is worthy of what is best from us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ has said, Inna Allah tayyib, la yaqbalu illa tayyib. Indeed, Allah is tayyib, one who is complete in all aspects, pure from all faults and flaws. So one who is described as being complete and pure from all faults and flaws deserves what is best from us. Deserves what is pure. Something, these deeds should be pure for him. Without any shirk, complete, trying to to do them textbook form as, as per the Islamic teachings. Because Allah deserves best from us. If a manager or someone of high status asked you for a favor, how would you do it? I'm sure that many of us will try, will put all the effort into it in order for them to be pleased. So what about the King of Kings? Our Lord who created us, doesn't he deserve best from us? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, another aspect is um, trying to make gradual increments of inc when increasing acts of worship, trying to make them in small increments. Why is that? So that you won't get frustrated and bored and leave that act of worship altogether. It was narrated that the Prophet ﷺ has said, "Inna أَحَبَّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَا دَامَ وَإِنْ the most beloved, beloved acts or deeds to Allah are those that were or that are continuous, which means that a servant should be doing them every day, not leaving them, not doing it once in his life and that's it. Even if they were little in amount. So, and the Prophet ﷺ, it was narrated that Aisha anha has said that if he did a deed, he would make it continuous in his life. And make it a, a fixed part of his life. إذا كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا عمل عملا أثبته. He kept it in his he kept it in his daily life uh, daily routine. صلى الله عليه وسلم. So that's how we should be. So making gradual increases. Don't go. Don't jump. Make small steps. Because you're likely to be to continue on doing so and to improve. Rather, if you make large steps. You are more likely to get bored and in the end leaving that act of worship altogether. And we've seen that in our lives. Look at people who are trying to, to learn, memorize Quran. They start one page at a time or half a page every day. And then when, see, when, when they see some of their friends who have already memorized the Quran, they'll go like, okay, I'm motivated now. Let me try to do two pages at a time, two pages every day. They do that for three days and then they leave memorization altogether. We've seen it. We've seen it. We've seen it. So anyhow, that is regarding uh, making our journey for Allah and how to benefit from it. Inshallah, the upcoming video will be how to motivate ourselves at times of need and boredom. Thank you for watching.